Here we have two fields. Uh, we will learn more of this in A2, don't worry. But two fields, an electric field and a gravitational field. Wow. Which row shows the correct direction of the forces acting on the charge? Now, I am not going to look through all these things one by one because I will get confused. So I'm going to go straight to these field diagrams and try to decide where the, 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 the forces will be. So let's start with the one on the left, which is the electric field. Where would the force point on this charge. Now, if you have memorized this or you kind of know, then you will know which which direction the electric force is. But if you don't know, you maybe have to think a bit of electric field stuff. So, if you are not sure where to start, think of this. Normally, we say here is positive, right? And the arrows point to the negative side of parallel plates. This is to help you think about it. So, where is the negative charge attracted to? Opposites attract. So the force will then be pointing this way. That's the electric force, Fe. I'm just going to call it Fe for now. Okay. In other words, when you see all these arrows, this is where a positive charge would go, this way, because the electric force is pointing to the right. So whenever you see all these electric field lines, that's where a positive charge will go. So electrons are rebels. They go in the opposite direction. Simple as that. Next one, gravitational field. Not so complicated. Mass is very obedient. Wherever the field point, there is where the force will be. So for this object, it's going to point this way. So this is our gravitational force pointing to the right. I know it's kind of hard to think of gravitational field sideways, but you imagine this way. Lah. You are human standing on Earth. That means all the gravitational field lines are pointing this way to the center of the Earth. So where's your force? Your force is also acting on you. is also down low. It's always down one. It's always attractive. This is what we call a uh, only attract. But electric field, it really depends if you are positive or negative charge. Who knows? So with this in mind, now that we have a clear idea of where the forces are, then we look at this thing. So, uh, yeah, from here, you can tell already. Lah, this tool is out. Why is this vertical? Hello? They put that to confuse you. So this one will be pointing to the... Left and the right, so that would be this answer. This would be a positive charge if it's pointing to the right. So the best answer is B. Very nice. So make sure you know the difference between the two fields and where the, the forces are pointing to because it's very important in all kinds of calculations. And also, A2 will have this two whole chapters just on gravitational field and electric field. But that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.